Well, our initial plan for today has to be put on hold due to a trail closure for some strange reason. I don't know what's going on, but anyway, my brother and I decided to come out here to the west side of the valley to the White Take Mountains Regional Park, and we're on our way up to Barry Goldwater Peak. So Barry Goldwater Peak is one of the Arizona 2,000 foot prominent peaks, which is one of the reasons we're doing this today. So the furthest point in the back, right in the middle, is not Barry Goldwater Peak. That's the Radius Summit. Barry Goldwater is going to be a little further back and further off to the right too, behind this mountain here. So we'll take the trail um, up to the road. There's a road that is used to access the summits. We'll take the trail up to the road and then take the road the rest of the way up. So the trail's been really easy for a while. It was steeper for a good section and then leveled out and was really level for a while. Still looks pretty gradual here. So I think I'm at the highest point I can get to here. It looks like it's a little higher than that one over there. Actually, this right here on the south side is probably the highest point here. A lot of haze this morning. Right there in the middle is the Sierra Estrella High Point, Sierra Estrella Range. So we did that, I think it was mid-February. We could smell something burning and here it is. Someone just had a fire here pretty recently. And we dropped about 730 feet since the radio summit and now we have about 800 feet up to Barry Goldwater. We passed the low point of the road a while ago. Just slowly making our way up to the summit. Right there is our connector trail back to the goat cam trail for the way down. You got it, okay. I finally got it. I have to lead them along sometimes. Well, this is the view to the west. I don't even know if I'm gonna bother filming to the east. It's just really hazy out there. All that pollution from everyone staying at home. A lot of mountains out in this direction too. Definitely some cool looking peaks. A little harder to make out now with the haze. But there's definitely some neat ones. And then spinning to the north here. See the difference on the slope there. The one side is a lot of saguaro and some lighter colored vegetation. And then the other side is no saguaro and everything's a little bit darker colored. Looking south. There's the Sierra Estrellas and the Radius Summit. And then looking out at the Valley of the Sun, it's just covered in a lot of haze right now. So we have to get past that first peak, farthest peak in the middle right there. We'll be over to the right of it, and then the trailhead is just a little further beyond that. Well, here's the connector trail that goes back to the Goat Camp Trail. So there's a few rock corns here, and I can see it down on that next slope a little bit more. Yeah, we probably would have saved ourselves a lot of time and distance just taking the road down to the wash and then coming down the wash to here. So we just have to go up for a little ways gradually and then it'll be almost all downhill after that. Looking back up at the Radius Summit but the actual summit's further back. Just getting one last look at Barry Goldwater Peak because it's probably gonna get out of view pretty soon. We'll be able to see the radius summit for a while. We've come over two miles from Barry Goldwater already. The trail's gonna drop a little more steeply for another 
maybe three quarters of a mile to a mile, and then it'll be more level and a lot smoother back to the trailhead. Well, out there is downtown Phoenix. So the haze is starting to burn off a little bit. We have probably 500 more feet of descent and maybe a, a mile and a half at the most. There's that peak right here that I've mentioned from pretty far back. The sky is definitely clearer looking up. Seems like it's clearing up more over the Phoenix area too. Of course now it does. We made it. All right, just signing off from the White Tank Mountains here on the west side of the valley. And that was the hike of the Radio Summit up there, and then Barry Goldwater Peak, which is out of view. It was 13.45 miles, four hours, 44 minutes, about 3,600 feet of elevation gain. All right, time to make our way across the madness all the way to the east side, and hopefully, Next time we want to do something, our plans won't be thwarted. But we had fun on this one anyway. <laughs>